Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to lay to rest one of the OG action figures of the MDT YouTube channel. He played a pivotal role in the foundation of this channel, was the first GM of the MDT pick fed, and was one of my favorite personal customs in the early days of MDT. So as sad as today is, we must make room for the new and improved version, the official Mattel WWE Elite Eric Bischoff. Now calm down, calm down. I know today is a tough day, but we must remember to go on. This new Elite is much improved, is actually official, and doesn't use a god-awful Jack's Pacific head sculpt. The memory of the custom Eric Bischoff Elite will live on in our memories, even though today is very, very sad. And I personally would... Oh, there's nobody here. What is good everybody, welcome back to another Mighty and Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Set review on one of my personal favorite lines that Mattel has ever done. The WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Series from Walmart. The Walmart exclusive set. I stumbled into my Walmart and these three were just chilling on the pegs and I said, by God, Brad, what a blessing. Blessed and highly favored, Brad. Look at that. So of course I did purchase those. They were There was only one of each, I think, so I had to go ahead and cash in my Money in the Bank briefcase. But we're back today with a very special WWE WWE Elite set. I don't think I ever reviewed set number three with Shelton, John Cena, and Kevin Nash because I could never find Kevin Nash. And set three was really hard to find. So maybe I'll find, uh, you know, those three, or maybe we can do a review on the channel if I buy, you know, another copy and whatnot. But you guys can let me know. Nonetheless, these are hitting retailers. This is series number four of the Ruthless Aggression set, if I'm not mistaken. And it's an epic one. Of course, we have series five and six apparently hitting retail as well. So, like, lots of different Ruthless Aggression figures hitting Walmart shelves right now. Nonetheless, man, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, the legendary Eric Bischoff, <laughs> and of course the Undertaker in this set, which, let's be honest, I mean the standout in this set is going to be the Eric Bischoff figure. I mean, this is a figure I have been waiting on for so long, man. So long. And I have you now. But today should be a good review, man. You have the front viewing window with Eric Bischoff. You have the makeup mask here or the prosthetic mask there. Eric Bischoff here, first time on the line. Great figure here, man. This is going to be excellent. Bischoff on the side, Bischoff on the back. Plenty of Bischoff to come, I'm sure. Maybe at San Diego Comic Con, we should see that ultimate with the WCW ring. Here is Undertaker, kind of plain Jane, but we're, of course, going to crack all three of these guys out of the packaging. Love this render shot, dude. I love me some good American badass Undertaker, man. God in heaven. What a time to be alive. Then, of course, we do have Stone Cold Steve Austin in the camo, which, Jesus, I don't know how to feel about this one. But you have Austin on the side and Austin on the back looking good there. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack all three of these guys out of the packaging so we can find out, finally, what Eric Bischoff's official Mattel figure is all about. And then we, of course, have Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker to unbox as well. Alright guys, so here's all three figures out of the packaging, of course. This is not going to be run down like our typical action figure reviews here on the channel because, you know, we ain't got all the time in the world. I mean, I guess you know, we, I guess we kind of do, but three figures the traditional way, you know, typically when we have a set, we do it like this. Unless it's like a full set breakdown like we, I've combined figure reviews all into one before for the people that want to sit through one long 45-50 minute review. But I typically like to do sets like this together. Don't ask me why. Why? Why? Now what we're going to do is dive into each figure individually, look at their accessories, look at some comparisons, and of course do all the stuff. It's just not going to be broken down segment by segment like a traditional WWE Elite Action Figure review from like, you know, like we did Elite 104 and stuff like that. Now starting off first, we do have Stone Cold Steve Austin from this set, which is actually a, a quite unique figure in this set. And you guys also know that in the Ruthless Aggression Elite set, Mattel did want to pay homage to the original Ruthless Aggression Jack's Pacific line. So that is why they come with the accessories that they do. And also, this figure is quite unique though. Because Stone Cold Steve Austin never wore this shirt with these camo pants. It didn't happen, Brad. It's all fiction. He never wore this shirt design with camo pants. However, on the last Monday Night Raw of 2003, Austin wore his new Fear shirt, you know? And that was actually one of my favorite shirt designs of all time. But obviously, Jax was not going to put that onto their onto their figure. They weren't going to put Fear on a, on a kid's 
toy thing. So instead of doing that, they just put his most recent shirt design on the figure instead. And the shirt was also sleeveless, and they gave him white wrist tape, and they gave him a microphone. And it was rumored that would be his last figure, so just a little history on this figure. But Mattel decided to give us, like, these baggy camo pants. And they're not terrible, you know? I, I, I could see a lot of people using this for mocks. I, w I wish to God they would have given him, like, that tight fit skinny jean style pant instead of this baggy look because it wasn't this baggy it was actually quite tight fit they're like they're almost like hunting pants a little bit but got the standard black boots in there and then he does come with his Austin 316 stunner ink shirt which is really cool I'm glad that we have this shirt now and he comes with a necklace here but no back graphic it is just you know a typical velcro t-shirt from Mattel that we've seen he also has gigantic arms but I did want to pull this shirt off so you guys could see what he looks like without the shirt. So here's the figure without the shirt. I might grab, I like the bigger arms here. I wish that his Ultimate Edition had a little bit beefier torso, a little bit beefier arms. He just looked really skinny. They really need to go back to the drawing board. I'd love to see a new Ultimate Edition Austin at San Diego Comic Con, but I like what we have going on here. I think it's pretty proportionate and everything. I don't know if I'm going to leave Austin like this though, or I might keep it like this and then get another one of these if I find another one at retail. But one thing I wanted to try was I wanted to pop this off and then I'm going to put on a AEW Mox head sculpt just so you guys can, if you guys are thinking about playing with that or you guys want to, you know, put that on a figure, you know, you got this and then you just stick that on there and then boom, there you go. So if you guys are liking that, let's get a zoom out shot. There is the my, oh, it looks pretty damn good. Like skin tones aren't perfect, but I think you could get away with it, especially if you put a shirt on there or something. But there is the camo pants Mox on the Austin body. Pretty good. I, I like it. I don't hate that. You know, if you wanted to experiment with that or make a Mattel Elite John Moxley in the camo pants. I think you can get away with it. Now, outside of his t-shirt accessory, you do get a classic Scratch WWE logo microphone. Eric Bischoff also comes with one of these. So Eric Bischoff and Austin get the Scratch logo microphone. And then outside of his cloth goods t-shirt and his necklace, he comes with mic holding hands and then pointer finger hands to tell people to shut the hell up. So no middle fingers. Of course, this is supposed to, I guess, represent the middle finger. So they give them the, you know, the index finger. There's third party companies and stuff like that out there to make middle finger accessories. But damn, I wish Mattel could could do that even for an exclusive like a ringside exclusive middle finger pack or something i don't know now for a couple of long pants stone cold steve austin elite figure comparisons we do have this like custom fix up austin here with the ultimate edition shirt on there with the ultimate edition head sculpt and light jeans really cool there we also have the attitude era stone cold university shirt here for long pants elite and all the you know austin's one of my favorite of all time so i i love having these different austins and these different looks there's so many looks they can make and there's like they haven't even really scratched the surface of austin figures they can make Make. With all the different shorts and t-shirts and long sleeves and jerseys, I really wish Mattel would crack into that because there's so many looks that they can make. But it is cool to see these up next to each other and, uh, you know, your mind can go wild with all the fix-ups you can do with this head sculpt. Like, I don't like this head sculpt. I actually hate it. This is probably, this one and the pissed off one from the Ultimate are my favorite because I think this one has the better head shape. Like, this is Austin's head shape. This one doesn't have his head shape. This one's too, like, squished. This one's like a long circular shape. Jax used to piss me off with that as well. But, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Maybe we'll see some new Austins at SDCC. Now, getting into Bischoff's accessories, you do get the prosthetic mask or makeup that you know, he used in the Billy and Chuck wedding segment, which was very iconic. And this looks pretty good, man. I, th I think they did a great job here. You know, you get a two-in-one here. You could put this on a random body or something like that. I really wish they could have given us, like, an old man Bischoff head instead. Like, take the exact same head sculpt, but paint it. Maybe add a little bit more wrinklage, like, you know, with true effects and give him some gray eyebrows and some gray, maybe like a five o'clock shadow and some, some gray hair or something. I think that would have been cool to, like, give us, like, or a shaved head head sculpt, you know, from his later run as GM on Raw. But this is still a cool accessory, and then of course he does come with the mic. And then he comes with universal mic holding hands. He gets the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style, I'm back better than ever hands. And then out of the packaging, he comes with pointer finger hands to point to his smile. Now this is a figure that I have been wanting from Mattel for years, man. I've said it multiple times, you know, we've made the skits, we've done all the stuff, man. This figure right here is such a blessing. Like, this is just a figure that I've been wanting so much. Eric Bischoff and that era of Raw where he was the GM and you never knew what to expect out of Monday Night Raw like that's how it was for a while there you know especially in the Attitude Era on into the Ruthless Aggression Era you couldn't miss Raw for all the shenanigans man now you can you could skip Raw for a whole year and know exactly what happens and like you don't ever have to really catch up because it's it doesn't change that much and it's kind of a predictable show back then man you missed Monday Night Raw and freaking Tupac Shakur raised from the dead you know what I'm saying this figure represents everything that I love about wrestling man like just growing up in 
that era. I, I think they did a great job here with the torso choice. I mean, I guess we can start with the head sculpt. Head sculpt's perfect. Head sculpt's fantastic. Looks just like him. I love the likeness, the hair color, the hair sculpt, and everything like that. Hopefully, we do get a version of an older Eric Bischoff, but this is the shield torso. Like the Dean Ambrose shield torso, the Stardust torso. That's what this is. It's like a sculpted shirt over there, which works perfect. And you guys will also notice they painted the edges black so that when you have the jacket on and you do this, it doesn't, you can't see the white shirt. It looks like a full jacket on there. It also has a really nice shimmer to it and double jointed arms, which, dude, this is just such an upgrade from the other figure. Like, it's not even close. Damn, this is nice. And then this blue color on the jeans, it doesn't look quite like this back here, the Undertaker. This is actually a flatter, matter blue jean color that I think looks pretty good. It's got the black belt on there, and then he does have the black shoes in there. This figure right here is just wonderful. One of my favorite elites of the year. Now, for your Eric Bischoff figure comparison, we do have to raise this son of a bitch from the dead. Oh my god! But I made this custom so long ago, man, and I honestly don't even remember how I did it. Like, I don't even remember. I think this was a Dean Ambrose. I think this was an Elite 40 Dean Ambrose, and then I cracked the torso, put some black suit arms, shoulders in there, and then I put the black jacket over it, obviously, and then put a cloth good shirt over it, and then put a Jax Eric Bischoff head sculpt on there, and then it's just, you know, the Dean Ambrose lower, and I mean, I think I did a pretty decent job. I'm sure we'll get like a repaint of this figure or something like that down the line maybe uh, in the black shirt color but this is so much better than this man and this is so cool to see finally to have this full circle this is on my wish list for so long and to finally have it here in the review is just a fantastic piece just what a what a time to be alive and now we can put him and lay him back to rest now for the undertaker you do get the steel chair accessory because his original figure did come with a steel chair i do believe it's just a standard black chair with the padding on there and then he also comes with his gloved mic holding hands. And then he also comes with his fisted hands, which are so sweet. I'm so glad they came with the gloved fisted hands. But this is a repaint of a figure we've seen a couple times before now. Elite 18 Taker, Elite 55 Taker, WrestleMania 32 Taker. It's all kind of a repaint of those figures. However, he does have the removable headband, which is nice. That is great. And the lightness on this is really good. It looks just like Taker from this time period. I actually am a huge fan of American Badass Taker. I really wish he had the Sarah tattoo on his neck, but I understand why they probably went away from that and didn't include that, but I guess that's probably just a respect thing, you know? But I guess you can get a decal or something and put the Sarah tattoo. I feel like it's necessary, especially if you want the accurate, ruthless aggression Undertaker from this time period. But he's got the black singlet torso, and this is what I don't like. I don't like how he has the jacked, big, double-jointed arms with this smaller torso. I feel like they've always made Undertaker too small in the torso department. Much like Kane, his Ultimate Edition does suffice. I wish we could... I think an Ultimate Edition American Badass Taker, I didn't really realized that I wanted that until just now. So an American Badass Undertaker or give us this body but put the ringside exclusive Taker torso on this body with the double jointed arms and the ja and the nice jack shoulders and then give us a cloth goods black shirt would be really cool. But then he's just got these solid blue jeans here which are kind of that like saturated Dean Ambrose color which is honestly kind of disappointing but I love Undertaker. I love this version of Taker. It's just kind of a plain Jane repaint but if you guys are missing an American Badass Taker like there's there's certain certainly some things you could do to fix this figure up. You know, you could buy some extra cloth goods. You could put a chain with it. You can put an undisputed championship. Like, you could do some different things with this figure to make it upgraded. So for your Undertaker figure comparisons, guys, it's pretty much just, you know, some different ones from around the same era or American Badass Takers that we've gotten so far. You have the ringside exclusive SummerSlam Undertaker. This is the torso I was talking about. Put this torso, shoulder, and arms onto this body with a black cloth goods shirt, not this rubber garbage that they gave us. Elite 55 Taker, Ruthless Aggression Elite. The WrestleMania 32 Undertaker Elite. Feels like that came out yesterday. Came with a sick-ass entrance coat for a long time. That was the best coat you could get. And then you have the Elite 68 here. I love Undertaker again. This is sweet. I love all of these. I think they look fantastic up next to each other. And I'm sure this isn't the last American Badass we will get, but there are certainly some other ones out there that you could grab. I think the Elite 18 is probably my favorite, but I also like the SummerSlam Ring Set Exclusive. I just don't care for this head sculpt very much. We really need a braided ponytail Undertaker head sculpt. Like Brothers of Destruction braided ponytail undertaker bro miss me with that i'd say use the boneyard match one but he'd probably look way too damn old in the face nonetheless man before we get out of here let's go ahead and rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion now it's really easy to be honest with you as much as oh damn is it Ooh. 
yeah, I think it is. Let's just go ahead and do it real quick. I think this is going to be my order from worst to best. I got Undertaker at the bottom, Stone Cold in the middle, Eric Bischoff number one. Eric Bischoff easily number one. Just I mean, that has been on my wish list forever. I think the execution of the figure was top notch. Don't love the shirt, love the build of the Austin, don't like the head sculpt, and don't like that they kind of mix match this figure together. And then this Undertaker is really plain Jane as much as I love that version of Undertaker as much as I love how like clean it is and standard at the same time it's it's pretty boring compared to the other two like you know it's got camo pants you got the Bischoff which is easily the best figure in the set so yeah that's gonna wrap this one up man that does it for our WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Series number four set review I think it's series four sometimes I mix up the series just because so many hit at different times and you know they announce these things but surely we will see the Monday Night Wars WWE Elite Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin figures at San Diego Comic Con. Also, maybe we'll see a Eric Bischoff in that set as well, maybe. Eventually, maybe like down the line, Series 2 or 3. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate their kindness and all of their support. Appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. If you guys are interested in becoming one, click the link in the description below. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I appreciate you guys so very much. I'm getting out of here, man. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never be